Hey folks, this is your host, the one, the only Thrifty Gamer 83 here. You know what? Some days it does feel good to play as the bad guy. And today what I'm playing is just Goldeneye Rogue Agent. You know, it's kind of a guilty pleasure. I realize now I used to have it on GameCube, now I have it on PlayStation 2. But I realize that with even running it through an upscaler, it still kind of looks, I don't know, bland. And really, the PlayStation 2 was more capable of this. But Rogue Agent is simply just a fun-and-gun throwaway title. Really, I don't really have many memories of playing it. I was more attached to Time Splitters at the time than Rogue Agent. I just got Rogue Agent for the GameCube just to fill a void of not having a GoldenEye style shooter. And seeing it again for about 50 cents at a yard sale, I just couldn't help it. I had to pick it up and add it to my PlayStation 2 collection. I have to say that I do like it as a guilty pleasure. It's really just... It's... <laughs> it is just a game that elicits a guilty pleasure response. The colors are bland, the characters are drab, the enemies look like crap. However, I do have to say that the detail into the cutscenes looks great. It's really well put together. I like the aesthetics. It just, it shocks me that the game just didn't get any better. I think when I bought it, I bought it for the cutscenes. And I was just amazed by the cutscenes before it came out. And a little bit of it was, you know, picking it back up for 50 cents just to say, yep, I'm going to add it to my collection. It's another drop in the bucket title. Oh, well. And it's a fun little drop in the bucket title at that. It has a lot of numerous unlocks if you take out enemies in various ways, explosions, electrical shocks, deep freezing, all types of things which normally you'd look for the Q gadgets for. You may not have the Q gadgets, but this is still an enjoyable title. Even if the visuals look bland, you will still have some fun out of it. I say I've gotten at least my 50 cents worth out of it. And playing as the bad guy, you get to meet a lot of classic Bond villains from Dr. No to Oliver Goldfinger, Odd Job, Pussy Galore, all types of enemies, frenemies, anti heroes. I think the biggest thing in the game is that you are an anti-hero in the 007 universe. And that is where it puts you. You lost your eye. You want revenge. But the one who took your eye is the one you wind up partially working for. And it's the consistency that I like of having the 007 sense of humor as well wrapped into it. Just the obvious ways that you get rewarded for taking out an enemy. Headshots, grenades, environmental. It's really, really nice. It adds a small mechanic to it, and I think it just rewards players in that respect. Having it in my collection, as I said before, it's a guilty pleasure game. You're probably not going to get really invested into it. And 
and especially since it really doesn't look as good as the third person Bond games which would come out mm, a little later I do believe I still find the first person games aside from the original GoldenEye feel like I built them up more in my mind that they would live up to the 007 GoldenEye Nintendo 64 appeal all right, folks, rant, rave, love, hate. Oh, click that subscribe button. You're keeping my show on the air. Have a good one.